Well, it seems to me it was a very simple exercise because you have been very quickly in completing this. Let's quickly see whether you have calculated the opportunity cost correctly for increasing the squash racket production. At point A, I have no sacrifice because here I produce 550 tennis rackets and zero squash rackets. So therefore the opportunity cost is zero because I don't sacrifice anything. But moving from A to B, what is happening? Now I increase my squash rackets from zero units to 40 rackets. But what do I sacrifice in the process? I sacrifice the quantity of tennis rackets that I manufacture. And the sacrifice is then 550 minus 520. And that leaves me with 30. Moving from B to C, now I increase my squash racket production by a further 40 units. In other words, it increases from 40 to 80. What is now the sacrifice that I'm making? 520 minus 540, and that equals then to 70 units. But then from C to D, I'm saying to you now, it is 450 minus 340, and that is equal then to 110. Moving from D to E, increasing, in other words, my squash racket production from 120 units to 160, I sacrifice then 340 minus 190, and that is then equal to 150 tennis rackets that I sacrifice. And then lastly, moving from E to F, what do we say? 190 minus zero, and that is then equal to 190 tennis rackets that I sacrificed to increase my squash racket production from 160 to 200 rackets.